Anyways, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to find your perfect sensitivity on Rainbow Six Siege. So you can hit your shots, you can get ranks up, you can get those kills, you get that high KD, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, chat? So, the first thing I want to say is, you might change your sensitivity of this video, higher, lower, whatever. You're not going to be good on it straight away, because that's it. And like... You're not gonna be good because you're not used to it. That's with anything in life. Like, you're not gonna be used to something. You probably won't be good at it. Now, when you start a new sports, you know what I mean. But I also wanna tell you guys that sensitivity is preference. So you might change it to my sensitivity or similar or to a pros or like stomping. It's preference. So don't think by changing your sensitivity, don't think you're gonna be like that guy. You're gonna be like stomping. Anyways, let's start off with the video. So the first thing I want you to do is let's see what your strafing is like. So come into this section of shoot range, and then what you want to do is come to options, round durations, whatever. You want to go big ball. Um, how, how many targets? I say near. And you want to do sprint or run. Probably run. Wait. Let's, okay, I say run or sprint. To be fair, not that many people sprint. So, so whatever you guys want really. I'm gonna do sprint. You wanna just wanna get our weapon. And just let's see your tracing on one thing, one target. So I don't know if mine's probably not gonna be that good because I just came on. But you can see if you're over tracking or like under tracking, and by then you can change your not even your horizontal your ADS because your ADS all the time. So you wanna change that sensitivity really. See, I'm a bit like, you know what I mean, but I can catch up. The only thing bad about this is it bounces, I can catch up. I'm, I'm consistent. So once you find that out, if you're overdoing it, then turn, that, turn your sensitivity lower. If you're overdoing it, then turn it up higher. And I would do your ADS, because that's what you're going to be doing most of the time, your ADS, right? So, yeah, like I said, if you're overdoing it, slow your, down, so slow your sensitivity down, because... You can move your joystick that same however much it was before but you won't be it won't be as fast if that makes sense. That's like trying to explain it. So again like I said you can't be good on sensitivity straight away, so don't go change it to a pro who plays that that E hundred, like who even plays that E hundred, forty hundred? Something plays forty hundred. You're not gonna change the sen his sensitivity and just be the god, you know. You're not gonna change and be the goat, you know what I mean? Anyways. Now we're gonna try your strafing. So I've already done it on this wall. Let's let's go to this wall, yeah, and because you'll get infinite ammo actually. Let's just do this. 120 and then go to infinite ammo. And then just begin. So you get infinite ammo. Now just come to a wall, like okay, let's go to this one. And then just this you Control the recoil while strafing left and right. Now, this shows how consistent you are. So it's it's all right. It's consistent, obviously. But is it consistent enough? It could be better, couldn't it? So this is where you like would maybe turn you turn down your ADS because you're going over too much. Like if you're if you're like over here doing this, obviously slow it down. I was in a consistent area, but maybe I do need to slow it down, you know what I mean? Maybe I might be better. So even for me, let's try this. Cause to this day, like, you know what I mean? I mean, it's in kind of the same area. I'm not gonna lie, I'm used to 3070. 37, I play quite, I play quite decent on this. So if you're overdoing it, then whatever. If you're, you're not really underdoing it, because you can be very, very consistent on this one. So, yeah, just do that. Now, another crucial part of Rainbow Six Siege is 180s. You're shooting a guy, then a guy comes up behind you, and you flick onto him. So to make sure your sensitivity is fast enough, or slow enough, or whatever, is consistent, you need to be able to 180, shoot, 180, shoot, 180, shoot. So I want you to practice this. See how consistent you are. It's quite hard on controller, I understand. PC, obviously, PC is just, bro, like, you can flick all the time. So I want you to try this. 
you know, shoot, 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 shoot. Just keep doing 180, see, see how consistent you are. I'm, I'm pretty consistent. Some, there's flaws here and there. What this does, I'll already explain what it does. If you're overdoing it and you're like here and you're shooting over here, that might be because sensitivity is, your sensitivity is a bit too fast. Because if you have a slow sensitivity, you're more consistent. It takes more time to do the 180. Shoot. But, okay. Anyways, so yeah. But there is advanced options to change this. Now I don't play on this, but I used to play on it, and these were my settings. So what this did, it accelerated my, it accelerated my sensitivity after a certain time of holding my joystick down for that. If that makes sense. So if I have my joystick, let's say for like 0.3 seconds, it would tire it up by 20%. You can see my horizontal, my vertical. Now I stopped playing on this because I just felt like it. Not really many people are using this, and to be honest, I didn't really feel like it made much of a difference. However, that's just me; that's my preference. But for you guys, it might make a difference. So I say go into the shooting range and like do whatever and just mess up your sensitivity. Obviously, I did it for all of it, but you can see there's only ADS. So maybe your ADS might be. The one that you target most and not your normal sensitivity. So I'll explain these these ones obviously is the horizontal vertical acceleration percent. So this would be thirty eight percent of your horizontal and yeah. So your your ADSing and it adds on another thirty eight percent of your horizontal. So if your horizontal was a hundred, it would be hundred and thirty eight. But obviously, I mean, that made no sense because the ADS would never be 100. For this, then it technically would. But that's just um, whatever. Now, the acceleration delay is how long is it delayed that it adds on the percent? So here's 0 0.15 seconds before it adds on this. You, and you can see the graph, right? And it started at 0 0.15 seconds and it, and it gets higher. And it reaches the maximum 38% like reaches the maximum the highest sensitivity just over one second and this is because the ADS acceleration ramp up time is one second so it takes one second plus the 0.15 second the outer threshold is um how far you have to um, put your joystick for it to reach max. So if I had it on zero, then I would have to push my joystick all the way up for for it to reach that maximum fastest sensitivity. If I put it to the lowest, then I would only have to like flick it up, and it'll make your sensitivity like really, really, really fast. Look down put in time is literally just makes your sens sensitivity slower. So if all those factors adds up, with all those factors. You need to find your perfect sensitivity. Make sure your tracing is good. Make sure it's consistent. Make sure you can do 180s and it's decently consistent. Make sure you can shoot while strafing onto a target and it's consistent because that will get you your kills if you're consistent. And that's the main thing is easy. If you're a consistent player, you will got consistent aim. You will become the best player like of you or even in the world. Like, I don't even know. So just find your sensitivity. I'm making a video on how to get good recoil control and that will come out in the next video. Make sure you watch both of them. And that's it guys. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for 2k subscribers. And see you guys in the next video.